place her in a car with a screamy face. And it nailed it perfectly. Turn me into an alien. This is insane. It aligns with my facial features exactly. Let this woman promote this bottle. This is next level. The bottle and the woman are 100% the same. And this is the first model I've seen that can do this from a single image. It handles these tasks like a beast and makes creating so much easier. This new Nano Banana image model is probably the best you can use right now. And I'm 99% sure it's actually Google's new image editor. And the best part is, right now you can use it for free. I'll show you how later, but first let me walk you through all the incredible things it can do and how you can use this as a creator to make more in less time with higher quality. So let's start with character consistency. For this, I used a real person photo from Pexels as a reference. First, I asked for a medium shot of this woman in the snow in an alpine landscape. Then, I used that image as the new reference and asked for an extreme high angle shot in the same setting, which gave me this result. For the beach shot, I used this image again as a reference and asked to place her on a beach in a red bikini while keeping her pose exactly the same. And now, if you look at all these images, you can clearly see it's the same woman. And this is all from just one single image. That's insane. I know image editors like Flux Context and Quen Image Editor can also do this, but not with this level of consistency. Normally, you'd only get this kind of consistency by training your own consistent character model. We'll come back to this woman later for the car shot. But first, if you do want to train your own consistent character, you can also use Nano Banana to make a model sheet. For this, I used this image and asked it to create a model sheet of the character with front, back and side views. As you can see, almost everything matches. The only small mistake I can find is this little detail on the side of her head that's missing in the front view. But other than that, the consistency is perfect. It's also great for storytelling because it keeps the scenery consistent and recreates it perfectly. For example, I used this image from Pexels and asked to zoom into the mouse with ultra sharp detail. That gave me a perfect close-up, but it gets even better. When I asked for a macro photography of the mouse's head, I got this amazing shot that fits perfectly with the other images. You can also use it for product promotion. For this, I took this image from Pexels and added my Nano Banana bottle. I asked for the girl on the left to hold the bottle in her hand, stretching it out toward the camera. The result blew me away. The woman stayed exactly the same and the bottle looked perfect with every detail intact, no distortion at all. The only thing I struggled with was making a proper close-up, so I hope the model improves there, because being able to push the bottle closer to the camera would be awesome. You can also use it to sharpen and clean up your images. For this, I blurred this photo and asked Nano Banana to sharpen and denoise it. The result is amazing. Look how sharp it is now. Even compared to my original image, this one looks even better. Everything is much sharper, and the noise on the image is completely gone, which you can clearly see here on the background. The thing I'm most impressed and excited about with Nano Banana is this. When you restyle your image, it nails it perfectly. The body position, facial expressions and even her mouth all match the original image perfectly. And this is super important if you want to use it for video to video, like for example with Runway Act 2. One thing I have to mention is that when trying turning an image into Lego style, I got no result. Other editors handled this very well, so maybe I didn't prompt it right or Google is still working on it. Another thing I noticed is that if you ask to turn someone into for example an alien without adding a background, the facial features line up even better than when you also prompt for a background scene. So I've used the right image to make a video to video with Runway Act 2 and even for the right image the facial alignment was strong enough to deliver an incredible result. And as shown before, you can create different shot angles to get 100% consistent characters from just a single image. And if you want to customize something, then it's important to use the right keywords. As you can see in this example, where I customized the car into a Batmobile theme. If you for example would say change this car into a Batmobile, then you get this result. Now let's look at how I made the intro shot. I asked for a medium shot of her driving a car at night, at high speed with a screaming expression, plus motion blur and a cinematic look. That gave me this amazing result. Then I used that image as a reference and asked to zoom in, which gave me this shot. If you are not even closer, I recommend saying something like zoom into the face of the woman. Now I've got one last tip before I show you how to use the Nano Banana image editor. If you ask the AI model to do too many things in one prompt, you'll have less control and might not get what you want. For example, I asked it to turn this woman into a smiling, lovely beast, 
wearing an orange Adidas tracksuit with white stripes, with flames and fire in the background. The result looked nice, but it wasn't what I wanted, so I recommend treating it like Photoshop. Start with one layer, then add the next. In this case, I first asked for the woman to wear an orange Adidas tracksuit with white stripes. Then I asked to turn her into a smiling, cute, lovely beast. Finally, I asked to add flames and fire in the background. And that gave me exactly the result I was aiming for. Right now, the only way to access Nano Banana is through a platform called Alamarina. It's a site where people can compare different AI models side by side. But if you use battle mode, the new Nano Banana model shows up often. And that way, you can use it for free. The only annoying part is, sometimes you have to wait 3 or 4 runs to get a Nano Banana image. But it's so worth it, because the results are next level. So I will add a link to Alamarina in the description. And if you are there on that website, make sure that you have selected the image option. And now I'm going to drag this image in here. And I'm going to add the prompt. The prompt I already used before. And then just hit generate. And wait till you get a Nano Banana image. And seriously, this is the first run I did. And I think that the that the image on the right is Nano Banana. I'm not sure, but I, I think it is. So then you're going to click on right is better, and then it will reveal which image belongs to which editor. And yes, as you can see, it is Nano Banana. You can click on it, and then you can see the full image, and you can click here to download the image. If you're interested in AI video models, make sure to subscribe. I'm working on a comparison of the five best AI video generators, where I'll test the images I created in this video using different consistent characters to cover every possible shot angle you can imagine.